Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about lines and angles. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to study about length of a line segment followed by measurements of angles, complete angle, types of angles based on the measure and we will be discussing about intersecting lines, perpendicular lines, bisector of a line segment followed by the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. So what is meant by a line segment and the length of a line segment? On comparing any two line segments, the relation between the length is found. This comparing procedure can be done by observation or by tracing or by measuring their lengths using a ruler and a divider. If you see, among all these methods, your measuring method is the most accurate method as it uses the ruler and a divider. So this is how the length of a line segment can be compared. Next we are going to see how to measure the angles. One complete revolution is divided into 360 equal parts. You can see over here the one complete revolution is 360 and it is written as 360 degree and this is how we read it as 360 degree here you can see that starting from 0 one complete revolution is 360 So here you are able to see how the angles are written in the form of coordinates. So here your 0 degree is written as 0 in radians as well. Your 15 degree is written as pi by 12 in radians. Your 30 degree can be written as pi by 6 in radians unit. Your 45 degree can be written as pi by 4. Your 60 can be written as pi by 3. Your 75 degrees is written as 5 pi by 12. And your 90 degrees is written as pi by 2 in radians. So similarly, your degrees are written in terms of radians. So that makes your 360 to be 2 pi. And your 180 will have the value as pi in your radians. Next we are going to see how to measure the angle. The angle is measured using a protractor. Here you are able to see how the angle is measured between the two lines. So here the angle is 115. So this is how a protractor can be used to measure the angle between two lines. Next we are going to study about complete angle. If an angle is of the measure 
360 then it is said to be a complete angle the complete angle can be divided into four equal parts the first part the second part the third and the fourth part so each part over here is called as a quadrant because each part is one of the four total parts so your first quadrant can be written as 1/4 of 360 which will be 90 degrees so this is 90 degree and your second part makes half of total 360 so half of total 360 is 180 your third part is 3 by 4 times 360 so which is 270 so this angle starting from here up to this is 270 next the fourth part is 4 by 4 of 360 so which is 360 itself so one complete rotation makes the complete angle 360 Next we are going to study about the types of angle based on the measure. If two lines form an angle whose measure is less than 90 degree then it is said to be an acute angle. So this is your 90 degree and if the angle is less than 90 degree then the lines are said to make an acute angle if the angle has the exact measure as 90 degree then it is said to be right angle so here you can see that there is a right angle the angle which is measuring more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree is said to be obtuse angle so here it is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree hence it is obtuse angle if the angle has the measure equal to 180 degree precisely then it is said to be a straight angle so here the angle that is made by the lines is 180 degree hence it is a straight angle if the angle whose measure is greater than 180 degree that is it crosses 180 degree and if it is less than 360 degree then it is said to be reflex angle so here you can see that you have a reflex angle which is more than 180 and less than 360 next we are going to study about intersecting lines two lines that meet each other in a single point is said to be an intersecting line so here you can see that the two lines meet at a point so this is your intersecting line if two lines that intersect each other at right angles then it is said to be perpendicular lines here these two lines are intersecting at a right angle and hence it is a perpendicular line next we have the bisector of a line segment a bisector of the line segment is nothing but 
a line which divides say your line segment AB into two equal parts so here if you see this line divides AB into two equal parts at the point C so this is the bisector of the line segment which makes AB line segment into AC equal to BC Next, we are going to study about perpendicular bisector of a line segment. If the bisector divides the line into two equal parts, then it is said to be a perpendicular bisector of the line segment. And here in perpendicular bisector, the angle that the bisector makes with the line segment will be a right angle. So, the perpendicular line divides the line segment into two equal parts in a perpendicular bisector. Thank you so much for joining GTEC. Hope you would have got a very good idea about the lines and the angles.